Hi, Assalamualaikum. Meet again. Okay, now we are going to look at another example of uh, finding a state space equation out of a transfer function or a block diagram. Okay, the question wants us to find the state space representation in phase variable form for the system below. Okay, given a system over here in the form of a block diagram, with an input and three uh, sub systems and we have a single closed loop subsystem over here okay so this is a first order subsystem this is also a first order subsystem and this is also a first order subsystem but uh, we can see that if combined all these subsystem we will get a third order system so keep in mind that we need to have three state variables okay we are going to solve the state space equation so we redraw the block diagram and we are going to locate our state space variables and we are going to start from the right to the left first variable is located here so we can see that ys is equals to x1s we are going to locate it at every end of the subsystem okay so at the end of this block our variable is x1s and at the end of this block, we locate x2s and at the back of our last block over here, we locate x3s. As mentioned earlier, we are going to have three state variables. And at this point, we have a summing point over here. So we are going to sum x3 minus with x2 so we'll get okay we'll get x3 minus x2 at this point so for the first state space equation we are going to take the equation from this block over here we know that x1s is equals to 2 over s plus 4 multiply with the input of x2s so we'll get this equation and we are going to do the cross multiplication okay so we get the cross multiplication s plus 4 goes to the left all right and we solve this we are going to solve x1 x okay Okay, so we get sx1s plus 4x1s equals to 2x2s. Rearrange so that the equation should look like this. And then we are going to do the inverse Laplace transform so that we will produce the first state space equation as x1 prime equals to minus x minus 4x1 plus 2x1 so the process repeats again until we get all the three equations so for x2s we multiply 10 over s plus 5 with x3 minus x2 and after we solve this equation then we are going to get the second state space equation x2 prime equals to minus 15 x2 plus 10 x3 and the same thing goes to x3 right and finally we are going to take the last equation or the output equation as ys equals to x1 s after taking the inverse inverse laplace transform we get y equals to x1 
okay alternatively if we have this kind of block diagram what we can do is we can solve this closed loop block to become a, uh, an open loop block over here by taking this process okay where this is our gs plus 1 plus gs multiply with hs so since our uh, closed loop is a unity closed loop so hs is equals to 1 so by solving this uh, equation over here then we will get 10 over s plus 15 and we are going to do the same thing as we have done before we locate all our state variables over here x1 x2 and x3 and repeating the same process to get the uh, state space equation and the output equation so we can see that uh, using either process we will get the same answer so from the state equation and the output equation as we have done in the previous example okay we are going to complete our uh, state table state space equation table over here and transform it into a state space uh, matrix equation and output equation thank you see you again assalamualaikum